and uh, means automating that type. But the first thing only is not getting automated. Which one? Mortgage calculator. No, 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 no. Hotels.com. Hotels.com. Okay, we will look into that also. Right now we are doing it in uh, the H, uh, the demo AUT.com, right? The flight reservations. So we will see that. Yeah. So uh, we will also look into the mortgage calculator. Then we will go to Hotels.com and Orbits.com and something else. So those are, uh, those are the popular sites. We can even uh, go to Amazon.com and do something. So first we will do this small... Uh, little less complex websites so the other day uh, yesterday i figured out how to capture those values using the x path so i'll show you so this is where we were stuck right so the the we normally used by name or by value or by css that didn't work so what i did was i simply went to that uh, call uh, identified that element for example let's say 270 then here we cannot use one of these and we cannot obviously use the hidden this is totally uh, uh, this totally cannot work because the hidden itself says hidden itself means that it cannot be identified by the find element method so we cannot use this value or something so hidden means you refrain from using that so when you identify this by pointing to this and it shows this one right this has 270 value so simply right click on that copy the x path come here then you use by x path instead of css path or by value or something and simply put the whole thing inside the same thing that's what i did So do the same thing for rest here. You're following, right? What I'm doing? Yeah. You no. just click on the number and right click on the number and uh, you copy the export. Exactly. So That's the right. file bug, file bug extension automatically generates the export for you. So you can simply copy that. So then do the same thing for rest of the elements as well. I did the same thing for here. Okay. So till here it's fine, but the problem is it will capture the dollar sign also. So we have to get rid of the dollar sign here in the taxes and in the subtotal price. So let's let's see how to get rid of, get rid of that. Uh, so taxes, what we are doing is we are uh, using driver dot find element by x path. So then this returns web element. Then I can convert web element to text using the get text method. So dot get text capture the text out of that web element and once you capture that string I'm, I can store it in a string variable but right now since taxes has a dollar sign it will capture dollar 44 whatever so if you run it the other day I have run it so it printed over here in the console dollar 44 dollar 40. and if you are using if condition and if you want to validate so and so is equal to so and so you cannot do that right away so you have to get rid of the dollar sign. So what I would do is simply get text method provides another method to replace something. So what I want to do is I want to replace the dollar sign by a blank character. That means the dollar sign will be simply gone so what we are left with is a 44 which is a string so then we can parse it into integer or double then we can do our calculation so same thing with here subtotal also so this is like uh, if you know the vb scripting is something like taking a substring out of or split it split it and take only part of it so the replace function does the same simply put whatever you want to replace we can trim. We can uh, trim. Trim is not that is different. Trimming is like uh, if you have two seventy point five six seven. So trimming would mean it since it's above half point five. So two seventy becomes two seventy one. That's trimming, right? No, no, no. no. That's okay. trimming. That, that will be round, right? Round. That will be round. Right, right. Round. Uh, I think trim trim function does the same thing. 
Ringing is normal. Okay, let's see if the function is available. We can do this, but uh, the function may not be available. Let's see. Replace is that's why. Yeah, replace is the best way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if uh, yeah, trim is there. Okay, let's see what trim does. But how do you know what it will trim? Because trim is simply not taking any argument. So you just want to get rid of this dollar sign. So uh, we are not, we are not sure what trim will do. We can just experiment with it. So let me yeah, just yeah. run it and see. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just printing this out here. I'm just in VB. Uh, in VB, it does let trim right. So we have to give argument. Let's see how much of them we need to uh, and how much. Right, right. Yeah. Like that. So that's true. So in VB script, since it's a Java, so we cannot expect everything yeah. that is in. So here we have concatenation concat two strings. So where it say it takes one argument, trim doesn't take any argument but returns string. So this is the return type. So if you have string inside bracket, that means it's a input, and replace. So replace is the best bet. Let us see what the uh, what the string does. So what I'll do is I'll simply run the test case one. Test case one is where I'm calling all these functions. So okay, so if you while you it is running, if you just want to take it a look look at the console, you can do it. So it will not block your execution. It will do in the do the execution in the back end. So that's fine. So here, if you look at this 271, that's a uh, out flight price, in flight price, uh, number of passengers, and taxes. Taxes is uh, the dollar sign is got written off from taxes, right? So that's good. Okay, so same thing we applied for. The subtotal trim using trim. So what it did, it did not trim the dollar sign. So that's that's what we thought. So let's see what exactly it did. It did nothing basically because trim. I think it's equivalent to truncate. If you have like decimal value, it will truncate to the nearest decimal value or something like that. So if it is 588.88, maybe the result would have been 588.89. So I am just thinking, since uh, we we don't need trim right now, you can experiment that there are many thousands of functions, so we don't want everything. So right now we will stick to the replace. Replace is our best bet. So go back. We will complete it once and come back and run it again. So so this time I am going to use replace function here. This is important because in majority of the websites you will encounter something like this dollar sign embedded. So you have to get rid of this in order to calculate. So <coughs> replace is important. So just make a note of it. I'll also note, uh, note it down in the notes. Simply re replace it by whatever you want to replace it with. So here the trick is to replace it with a blank character. So that means you are getting rid of it. Simply that means. It. Okay, so once you do this, you have the strings. So string value of everything without dollar sign, right? Now, if you want to put a if condition, this is where we are stuck on the other day. So here, if you want to compare it, you must have the numbers, not the strings. So what you have to do have is you have to have the numbers out of the strings. So that is possible using the Parsing technique. So you you want to type uh, parse it to integer. So if you want to convert string to integer, use the integer class which has parseInt method. 
which takes string as an argument so simply it returns the integer value out of the string so that means the string must have an integer for example 1 2 3 so that's a string then it will convert into 1 2 3 number so for example if you have a bigger number like 500,769 something like that you want to parse into double rather than integer because integer only has some limitation till some certain point it, it can hold right in the memory location so if you want to deal if you are dealing with the uh, uh, bigger numbers then you have, you have to parse into double so same thing so it's a, there is a class called double double dot parse double so let's use it for uh, so let's take this total price and use it as double but I would suggest if you are parsing it double one number do it for the rest of it too so that it will be easier for us to uh, compare it here so anyway let me do it for here total so simply I will do double parse double so the total must be of type double so okay so if total is equal to out price plus in price into no number of passengers plus tax so this is giving me error right so what should we do add cost to double okay that's because you are dealing with a double so you have to convert everything else to double so then only you can compare insert not equal to null Okay, that's not really required let's manipulate over here total okay for the timing I will only use uh, integer So the calculation should be uh, double uh, the total is equal to this plus this multiplied by this plus this right so this plus this multiplied by this plus this that's what I'm doing. to boolean so there is no boolean value here why it is so let's write from the scratch total or price let's do a little bit differently multiplied by number of passengers to boolean why it is saying boolean Okay, so maybe that's uh, right. So double equal is the actual comparison operator. 
okay so we we should we uh, could have done the other way also like out price plus in price into number of passengers plus tax okay both are one and the same so if this is equal the total price is correct the total price is wrong otherwise so let's go ahead and run it so you understood this portion right prachi yeah yeah okay so let me okay so what you can do is while this thing is executing you can simply come to console and check out the results directly so that won't block like uh, in different qtp it will block so here it will simply do the execution on the back end but in qtp you have to keep the window on the front front end the browser must be on the front end otherwise it will block <clears throat> okay so the prices are displayed the total price is correct awesome so that means it's working fine so simply uh, compare uh, the total price with this plus this into this plus this and it correct it is correct so however it is displaying these values two times let's see what uh, why it is doing that validation okay because i am printing these as a strings once here and i am printing these after conversion to integer so that's why yeah same thing here so this is basically a string this is basically integer okay so finally we completed this and whatever you want to you can do the same thing if you want to capture some text you simply use the get text method and uh, if it is not able to be uh, recognized by this uh, fire path or developer tools then simply copy the xpath so the fire uh, the main uh, advantage of fire path uh, fire uh, fire bugs fire path is that it will generate the xpath for you so you can directly copy it and paste it in your xpath expression so that's easy so if you have any doubts you can ask me right now in this uh, otherwise we will go to your uh, example that you have done as a homework right the uh, mortgage calculator uh, so we will look at that yeah yeah good Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go to the uh, this one. What are you going to do? That's not the page one, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, switch. Share me your screen. I we will do it on your screen instead of my screen. So give me your password. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so <laughs> this is the internet loop. Let me disconnect. So, okay, is it fine now? Okay. Uh, no, simply it's going to infinite uh, mirrors. Mirror reflection is coming. So let me do one thing. Uh, you can disconnect to my screen, and I directly I'll connect to you. So that 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 will be done. Okay. Okay. So password. 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 Now I can see your screen, Prachi. So go, go ahead. We will fix that issue.
So uh, yeah, press it, go ahead, run it, and she will see where the, it, uh, the error is occurring. Error is not coming here. Okay. You are talking about the other one, the one. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to capture some text right yesterday. Uh, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. C that will take you to the developer tools here. Okay. No, you just need to press F12. Ah, oh, F12. Okay, shortcut. I don't. So sometimes F12 works. Okay, so click on F12. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Above the monthly payment, so come down wherever it highlighted that portion. Right click on that. Ah, oh, not the whole one. Yes, simply that one. So right click on here, not there. Ah, uh, down there, down where it is highlighted, the element. Okay, so it's not showing the copy export, right? Because export does not exist, right? Ah. Uh, over the monthly payment ah uh, okay uh, uh, my mistake the copy export is only available for the uh, fire firebug firebug not the developer tools this developer tools is uh, is coming by default with the firefox right So you have to download the fire pa fire bug that has the feature, not this one. But so, but 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 second. So what you do now? You have to go to. Downloaded right? Oh, it is, but it is not showing here. See, because yeah, yeah. when Selenium runs this right, so automatically it yeah, might yeah. Uh, disable it. Maybe. So you have to run it manually once. So close it. Run it manually. We will capture those elements. Then we will uh, execute that using Selenium. So by by default it will load. Otherwise, 
if selenium loads it, it will disable it in room because it thinks it's a uh, some kind of security issue or something. Yeah. So right now it's displaying there. No, no, not required. That's simply is a navigation step, right? So you have to take these. You can take those also, but you, since you are entering, uh, you can capture that for comparison. Uh, don't worry about that proxy. So simply we, we want to capture this one. So irrespective of the value. So we number the value doesn't matter, the element matters. So okay. control shift C. Yeah, uh, open the fire pack. Fire pack. Okay, now do the same thing. There you go. So this is the export. See, it's already generated export. So right now, if you right click on it, copy export. Yeah. So that's a feature in FirePath only. Okay. So now what you do is go back to this uh, Eclipse and paste. Use the find element by export where you want to uh, capture that. Ah, okay, so the trick is here is the trick. Let me let me take the control. Control Z. What you do is you first put the quotes and then paste it like this. Okay. okay. Then end it with a semicolon. Okay, so sorry. Uh, control Z. <laughs> yeah, just just delete the text uh, semicolon. Okay. So now what it will do, it will capture that element, right? But what we want to do, we want to capture the text. So you, you can apply the dot, get, yeah, sorry, you can apply the get text method here. So dot, write the dot get text. So that will capture the text out of the web element. So now you have the text, you can assign this text to a string variable so define a string variable let's say string uh, uh, what is this this element you can call it as income no right there in the in one line you can do it here string yeah, here yeah. One only. Uh, in the you can do it in a one line so here in the driver in the in the same line you can say string x is equal to that's it so it will be assigned to x because it's a string okay. it's no longer a web element right so S capital because it's a class string is a class right so class no, no, in August no, no, no. yeah it's a monthly payment yeah you can see monthly payment yeah month right you can write the whole thing monthly payment equals yeah. 
so the s is a capital letter because it's a class class name starts with the caps so okay so now it is captured so if you want to see whether it is working or not simply sys out and see but okay let's see if it is working then if it is working for this we can do the same thing for the others simply sys out the monthly payment let's see what it is capturing okay yes okay. uh, yeah okay. out Oh, you see. Control space. Control space will complete the auto auto complete. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's not as okay. So you want to print everything. The monthly payment is outside the quotes. Put a plus sign. Ah, uh, that will be concatenating plus monthly payment. The variable. Yeah, please. Okay, so I think it threw some. Invalid. Yeah. So this whole part is wrong. The invalid does not exist in result. Selenium. Maybe you know when we are running it. Oh, so, automation and the the content goes i think you know what i mean you know ah no no not really maybe yeah yeah it's it's taking a little bit of time let's see thread dots because it takes some time to calculate right so let's wait for uh, 20 second not 20 seconds at least 10 seconds so that would be 10000 milliseconds okay so as for the expat is concerned it looks okay to me I'm not sure about the text. Let's see if text is correct. So this is the one, right? Yeah. See the a text is not there. So this is the X path. So that that that's the extra thing. So simply copy. If you want to copy the CSS, select CSS. So let's go back to the Eclipse. So we need to. This is the extra thing, I guess. This is. So let me paste it anyway. See, that's the extra thing. So however, let's put the thread dots. So we, all you have to do is you have to add post declaration in order to use it. So now let's run it. Is it running? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
that's okay. That's okay. That's uh, not a problem. Only thing. Oh, the okay. The the in income is not displayed here, so that's a problem. So if you click on calculate, it should display this right. It was not displayed, so you couldn't find this element. Right. So was it clicking? Uh, so just to see if it is clicking or not, let's put a uh, comment over there so we know exactly. So basically, it's clicking. Once you click it, you are waiting for ten seconds. If it is not enough, let's wait for twenty seconds. And after clicking this, let me put a sys out. not showing yeah it is showing right now see so the error yeah. uh, the last time the bug was it was not submitted that was the thing and this is also important synchronization because it's taking longer time so 20 seconds put as much time as possible so majority of the errors occur in automation because of this synchronization so use this sleep method liberally wherever you want to use it so that's most uh, that that way you can avoid most of these unnecessary errors okay so you can continue to do the same thing for capturing other elements also and then we can compare just the way we did it in uh, the demo uit we can do this so once this is done we will do the uh, da data driving example so let's finish this okay so this is the element कुछ वन First of all, let us determine what we want to calculate. You know that way we know exactly what to capture. So, what you want to verify? Yeah, yeah. Here? All these three reports, all these three reports, all these three reports, right? Mm -hmm. We'll 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 take the total number of the entries and calculate. Can you calculate this way, right? Right. So, you want to calculate uh, the total payments out of this? Yeah. For example, you can check monthly payments. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. I think total payment, monthly payment multiplied by twelve plus interest, and uh, minus interest paid should give you the total payment. I'm something like that. I'm not sure. We have to find out the formula. So the formula. Formula should uh, be using these values, right? Home value, loan amount, interest rate, and then 
it is the result is this one so basically you have to validate if you input these values then output must be so and so right 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 so how do you calculate home value loan amount there should be some formula I I will search in Google, right? Yeah, just search in Google. How to calculate mortgage? Monthly payment for mortgage. How to calculate the formula? Formula for Oh my God! Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we you don't worry about the formula. So we will just do the normal. Uh, we don't worry about the uh, result. We will just do it using formula. So next time we have to take some simple interest formula. Simple interest is P P T R Y hundred. That is easy. <laughs> Then we need to find the time for calculating principal interest. Right, right. Yeah, this even complex compound interest is also a little bit complex. So simple interest is better. Yeah. Okay. So let us just stick to this capturing values and just writing a for loop. That's it. We don't worry about the result. Okay. So what you do is do the same thing for x path for that element. Oh yeah. This video is calling and not updated in my team. Okay, okay, good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, my training started and then uh, I thought of sending it afterwards. Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I got to three. So by, so by after three, three, I can tell you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to update it, right? I can tell you what to update right now. So you can just say, uh, uh, yeah. experience with. No, I want to add. Uh, I want to add some job description for e-commerce because we need to add a project. Oh, you have to add complete project, right? Okay, then. Because you know, I have this financial company experience. So you want to replace this? You want to replace this? Okay. So simply so, so replace this wall mark and uh, just I'll tell you the uh, bullet responsibilities, roles and responsibilities. So you all you need yeah. is the company name here and the uh, roles and responsibilities. Like, like, you can put anything. Actually, you know what I was doing? I was, I was adding, adding the commission. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
using the VB script. <laughs> using VB script uh, for writing functions for writing functions for you say database connectivity. <laughs> no, that's okay. But you have to write this, otherwise. I don't know this. No, no, no. I will give you the notes. Don't worry about it. I will give you the notes because this is important. They will ask anyway. Database connectivity. Database connectivity and recovery scenarios. That's it. I think that should be enough. But don't worry about it. I'll give you the notes and I'll also explain this what to tell. So you exactly know what to tell. Okay. Now, yeah. now, now I have to reduce the duration. Now I have to reduce the duration. Yeah, just put like 2007 to 2008, end of 2008, then. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Okay. Yeah, so just complete this for the rest of the elements. No, no, you are not stuck, right? Uh, no, no, no. So this this was fine for the monthly payment, remember? So we simply captured another uh, like uh, interest or something that is the next element, right? Yeah, yeah. So here. Don't worry about the formula, so we will capture. Procedure wise we will learn. So take the interest paid, so capture this. Simply copy this X path and put it over there. Okay. So, so we have already explained uh, what my payment and that was which one? Interest paid. Interest paid. So, uh, for the other one, one month, 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 month. Yeah. so let me explain a little bit over here. So this is the total summary, right? How this X path works. So in X path, you are given this path. This means that in the summary block, ID summary, where it, it is searching for the table body and it's taking the row number 4, table row 4 and table data 1. So in this, the interest is just in table row 6, table data 1. So that's how it is actually identifying. So if you see ID summary, the ID summary is coming from Okay, let, let's select this one of these and basically the ID summary so this is where, this is the whole table. Basically, if you hover over this, see it's selecting the whole table. So this is the table whose ID is summary and these are all table rows. If you expand this, so the first value is adds by Google. I think it's displayed somewhere there. And if you expand this table row, something about the Google again so come down this is the sixth one I guess right so if you look at this this is the fourth one table the fourth one so if you expand which is already expanded that has the value table data uh, out of this table rows four it has been displayed in the table data one that means cell number one or something so that's how it works so if you get any doubt if you just want to replace these numbers later keep the export that you can do. so that only can be uh, possible by understanding this export so what is this what so export uh, the syntax always starts from always you put the at the rate symbol followed by the property name and the property value in single quotes and then t body so this is little bit complicated otherwise if you have id or something right id something can be easily incorporated just by export so and so if you if you have the uh, already these uh, if you already know the syntaxes 
like I mentioned here, these syntaxes. So you can directly use same, more or less it's using the same thing. So however, it's easier if you use the CSS path, but CSS path also you can use, you can try, but that is only possible if there is CSS path exists. So obviously it's not showing CSS path. So in this case, it's better to go for the X path. Okay, so I will let you continue for this, this, and uh, so I don't think, uh, okay, you can capture this and let us try to figure out formula. Let's divide this 41,000 by 14,000 if it gives this one or let's see. So don't worry about the formula. So just capture one of these and we will put it in a for loop and compare something and display something so if, if it is a positive result or negative result that doesn't matter so just for the sake of learning the concept we are doing this right okay so i'll let you do the rest for the find element Do you want this one? Uh, no, 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 just captures anything, it doesn't matter because we are not actually calculating any formula. Or... or we can just simply print it to consume, so that's it. So, we are using Chrome for Internet Explorer, then we need to find the X path using Firebug, then we can get it Chrome and all. Yeah, that's a good question. So, X Firebug is available for Internet Explorer also. We, all we have to do is you have to go into Internet Explorer add-ins and download it and use the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Firebug is only is okay. not available for Chrome, I guess. It's available for uh, both Internet Explorer and Firefox. If the if you cannot, for example, Chrome doesn't have Firebug, right? Then if you still want to copy the export, so what you can do is you you can do this manually also, but manually it's a little bit difficult. You might miss a comma or something there. Right? So we can write a function for generating the export and then we can call it. Call that function and whatever it returns, we can use that export expression over here. So that's another thing. Okay, so we will simply run it and see if it is actually uh, able to display these values or not. So that's all. Then we will go to data driven, data driven testing, parameterize everything, whatever we have passed and data drive it Uh, mm, it is doing it. Still doing? Yeah, it is doing it. Yeah. Yeah, it is doing it. So just uh, right. check. So that is as per the what is displayed on the web page, right? Exactly it is. So later we want to play with this. For example, if you want to get rid of this dollar sign and store it in an integer variable, so that we can compare that is your manipulation. So for that you don't need the web page. So what you can do is once you capture everything, you can simply say 
driver dot twitch so that the browser will be closed you don't you no longer need the browser then whatever you want to do with these values for example if you want to if you have captured this into a string then i want to like integer monthly pay went is equal to integer dot parse int then i'll pass this monthly payment so so this is required for manipulating uh, with these numbers so right now the monthly payment this displayed is a string so what i'm doing is i'm converting it to a integer however this is a dollar sign so like we already discussed how do you get rid of this dollar sign you simply use dot replace right here dot replace and what do you want to replace i want to replace dollar sign with what with a blank, a blank. so same thing so right now if you print this one out it will simply print 180.79 so now you can play trim also if you don't want this dot 79 if you want print so let's see if it might give you 180 or it might give you 181 or something like that so that's so this is uh, which one the dot 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 right right so dollar sign you have to get it up before even parsing it so this right here you do it that's the best bet so do it right here right and then you parse it so let's do it for total tax total interest paid so this time what we will do is uh, okay so you want to okay so now you must get it up dollar sign that's important so then you want to trim it that's fine so what i'll do is i want to trim but trimming is only applicable for the integer not the string so before the applying the trim you need to convert this string to integer so the string would be interest paid um. so right now this interest paid is eligible for being trimmed so right now i can do trim uh i can put the trimmed value in the same variable trim of oh uh, let's see i don't think we can trim okay Yeah, only right, right, yeah. so, let's see. So we can trim right here. Okay, you are right. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So let's trim these also. See what happens. This out monthly pay plus. so okay monthly pay this so let's see Mm, I think this is failing because of trim my guess. Mm, 
number format exception yeah that's true. so interesting is 187 by 9 uh, okay so this is where it is failing okay so that is because maybe this is uh, this is because it's not an integer this simply is not an integer see this is a floating point right so obviously you cannot parse a string into integer so all you have to do is you have to use double double so here is double Okay, so where is the console gone? Console is uh, what is there? Uh, no, man, Something is might be causing the issue. But I think it's showing the error over here. Double pop. So parse double. So this value is already stored. So let's go down this driver. Monthly pay. Monthly payment. Okay, okay. Uh, so now. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we can continue. Uh, so, uh, yeah. 330, uh, 330, uh, 330, yeah. 330 is fine. And and, and uh, keep the session connected. No, no, that's okay. We'll continue. Uh, let me see if, if this works fine. We'll continue with the uh, data driven testing. Uh, once this, this is just an uh, example, right? It may be an uh, application error. Because you you understood the concept right on the other other uh, example demo A. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's yeah. important. So I'm just running this. We'll wait for one minute. Yeah. 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 So this came on the side, so we can put it down here. Number format exception. Yeah, I think it's a dub fourteen. What is a fourteen thousand three hundred and eighty eight? It's a monthly payment, right? Interest paid, okay. So this, I think it's not double, it's a, yeah, it's basically we have to parse into something else, not double. Double has also some restriction, maybe long, okay. Let's use long. Parse long. Okay, so we will execute this once you come back, uh, Prachi. So I'll... Okay. 
कंटिन्यू दिस
six family members for food.
Oh, my name is that too.